first husband's better half. She married me, and now she's the whole thing. Her first may not have meant it for a laugh, but his last words were, death, where is thy sting? He lived here man and boy most all his life, and no one really liked him special well. But now he's gone, if you'll believe my wife. His virtues were to know the rest to tell why he deserved to have a monument erected to his memory for sayings on it by some famous poet. He never smoked, no gambled, none, not cursed, no had a bit of fun. But if he did, you bet she didn't know it. He often said that he would like to beat her plum to death. But she was gone before his work was done. Till I met her, I never knew how hard it is for number two to fill the shoes of husband number one. Racking muddy feet. You lounge around and slumber like a log. And hang around for something good to eat. Now, my first husband, and I let her rave. He loved me and he never cared to roam. But still, that little tombstone or his grave says he has gone into a happier home. Well, he deserves to have a monument erected to his memory, for he was a teetotler and a teetern. We're different as we can be, a bright and shining light was he, well, I am just the kind of warning beacon. My batting average is the lowest in the husband's league. I never made a hit nor scored a run. But my worst error till I die has been as number two to try to fill the shoes of husband number one. <laughs>